Hey, welcome back. Riggs here with another first glance at a new snapshot adding piglins and hoglins. So let's get into it. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you like more of this stuff. And I also do some seeds. So I uh, hope you enjoy. So first things first, I was just doing a little testing and um, they're definitely aggressive. I just died with a full inventory full of wither skulls and you can see the aftermath. Kind of creepy, but let's continue. So once these guys have calmed down a little bit, you'll be able to right click a gold ingot on them. They will throw a random item at you. And it's, uh, yeah, it seems like it's a random assortment of kind of nether related things. Uh, so that's kind of neat. <laughs> I'm also learning that they are aggressive uh, towards the hoglins when the uh, when the hoglins grow up. Yeah, the piglins don't like them. For some reason, they're allowing that one to live. But yeah, they all just started attacking one of these guys. So yeah, some uh, some adversarial behavior between these two guys. All right, dressed in gold armor now. I'm sort of curious to see if that will do the trick. Uh, well, the the hoglins uh, haven't changed their mind. But what do you, what do the piglins think about me? Yeah, speaking of, oh, I should probably. Uh, I don't want to die. <laughs> um, yeah, these hoglins are aggressive towards you. I guess regardless. Let me get rid of this guy. Um, so it gives me an opportunity to let you know that they drop pork chops and leather. I'll let that guy. Uh, hang out with me but yeah i guess if you are dressed in gold oh really you're still making my my day all right complicated. that's fine uh, fair game. um but yeah these guys will hang out with you if you are dressed in gold so that's i think going to be the way to come and deal with these guys speaking of i uh, uncovered a few more trades specifically the crimson fungi which uh, up till now had been an unrenewable thing so that's going to be great we'll be able to trade with these guys for <laughs> like like how they look at the gold ingot for a second they're like yeah okay that, that works pretty well um yeah so that's kind of neat there are a few extra items but that is a big deal oh and nether bricks oh interesting some leather so oh no that's probably from the, the hoglin so that's kind of nice some some trades for them and looks like if you hang out in gold and maybe leather i'll, I'll test that in a second this guy's giving me the, the stare down all right um but yeah let's let's uh, take a look at some of the other things in the snapshot another detail is that they apparently are creeped out by the soul fire and they'll stay clear whenever possible and yeah they, they just started all running around and that guy set himself on fire so a couple other things from the patch notes these piglins will be mostly found in the crimson forest but you might find them in the nether wastes as well uh, they say they are suspicious of strangers so if they see you opening a chest or mining a block of gold they will attack you um, and yeah, they, uh, they definitely don't like each other, so the, the piglins will hunt the hoglins for food, apparently. Um, so, yeah, I'm, that has been proven to be true. Piglins are also aggressive towards wither skeletons, and I was noticing that the wither skeletons are dropping, uh, are dropping bones, at least, and I saw a piece of coal, so I don't know if they will drop their skulls as well, but that could be useful. And back in the overworld now, I wanted to show you that these piglins will revert into regular old zombie pigment in the overworld, which means that in order to do trading with them, you will have to have a little bit of a nether base. You won't be able to just bring them into your overworld base, which I think is kind of cool. Kind of a bummer, but but kind of cool. And um, these hoglins, you will be able to breed up with uh, crimson fungi. So, yeah, there we go. Love match on Valentine's Day. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's your nether food source, right? You can uh, trade with the hoglins uh, to get the crimson fungi and then breed up your, your piglins. I think I had that, no, I had that backwards. Yeah, breed with the piglins. Uh, anyway, yeah, you understand. Piglins also hate the smell of warped fungi. So you can see I'm in survival mode. They're getting ready to attack me and I just put a uh, warped fungi down and they're like, actually, I'm gonna stay over here now. So that's kind of nice. We'll set up a little perimeter of warped fungi uh, except the slimes don't care good news if you were looking for a way of showing people how rich you are in minecraft you will in fact be able to build beacon bases out of the netherite blocks now and you'll also be able to use netherite as the activator so there you go you can do that now i guess that's that's good another little change is that you'll now be able to use soul soil in addition to soul sand to make a wither and I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm sure we'll be learning more about these guys, get the full list of trades. 
Wait, I actually did do a little bit more research. Looks like this is just about the full list of things you'll be able to trade with them. And it is random. You know, you'll get a random assortment. Uh, you won't be able to choose. But I think most significantly, these warped and crimson fungi are available. So these are the saplings for the new wood type, which up until now were a non-renewable resource. So I think that's great. But yeah, interesting sort of assortment of nether-related items. Uh, another random trading system in the game, which I think is really fun and all the other good stuff. But uh, hope you've appreciated this quick first glance and uh, feel free to stay tuned for more. And until next time, this has been Riggs and I love you. I'll see you soon.